In this video, we'll be looking at database relationships and how to specify them in your model. Now, but before then, we will look at what we did in the last video. I'll walk you through what I did because in the last video, I asked you to add, add all the fillables. So I'll walk you through mine and you compare it with yours. So this is my comments table. These are the fillables. This is my companies table, the fillables. My projects table, fillables. Products, project user, role, task, task user, and user. Make sure you update your users table because we added extra fields in ours. Make sure you update yours. All right, so but once we're done, what we're going to do is to make sure that we specify the relationships. So a user has many tasks. A user has many tasks. That is, a user can create many tasks. So we can say tasks, um, tasks, tasks. This is how you specify a relationship in Laravel. So that when we are writing our code to generate all tasks, once we call the user's details and we we'll put tasks, it will generate all the tasks by this user. So we'll just say that this is the task model and uh, you can actually name this one anything, but I just want to name it tasks for consistency. Okay, so um, a comment. Well, that's not all. A user has many comments. But before that, okay, a user has many comments. A user has many comments. So we'll call this comment. Uh, not the casing that this is capital letter and then a user has many um, a user belongs to a role all right so we're gonna do that right here and this time around it's gonna be belongs to so we'll call it role it belongs to one role that's why it's singular so we got we're gonna call it belongs to a role all right um a user has and belongs to okay but then we we'll, we'll get to this point first we we'll get to we we'll get to this point but then uh, a company a user has a company a user has many companies a user has many companies As many companies. Okay, that clears up things for here. And um, so let us quickly clear up all the easy ones. So I'll copy this and go to task. A task belongs to a user. How I know it belongs to a user is because there's a user ID here. So a task belongs to a user, belongs to a project, and belongs to a company. So I'll do this three times. Okay, so this one is a user. It belongs to a user. User belongs to a project. Project. So you may not really understand uh, exactly what I'm doing now if this is completely new to you. But as we go on, you'll really appreciate the importance. All right. So it's called database relationship. So I'm defining them in my model so that things will be easier, much, much easier going further down. All right, so we're through with tasks. So we're going to go to row. Okay, row. A row has many users. Users. The reason I know that a row has many users is because if I come to users table, I will see that there is row ID. All right, that means a row will have many users. So I'll call it users, call it has many, and then call it uh, user. All right, and then a project user, I'll leave this one. We're going for the complex ones first. So the project, a project belongs to these three. So I'll copy what I have in task. A project belongs to a company and a user, all right? So I'll go to project. A project belongs to a user and a company. So I'll uh, remove project. So 
this basically solves it. It belongs to a user and belongs to a company. A company belongs to a user. I'll paste what I have here. Remove this tool. Oops. Good. A comment. Yeah, so uh, this will take us to another level which we'll do in the next video because this is a different type of a different type of relationship and this too is a different different type of relationship so we'll see them in the next video